So now that the Mavic has been out for a while, a lot of accessories are starting to drop for it. And with no surprise, there has been a range extender that has been developed for the DJI Mavic controller. Now all it is is just your cheap run-of-the-mill plastic deflector type with this foil type of covering on the back of each. And the whole point of it is basically to block the signals that are coming this way and project more of an image that way. <clears throat> now I have used these things in the past on my Phantom 3 and I was able to actually get some extra range and penetration out of them. Uh, the problem with the Mavic is the Mavic's using this OcuSync technology which nobody really knows exactly how it works. Um, I haven't seen anybody take apart uh, the Mavic antennas, um, which are a little bit different looking than your normal linear polarized type of antenna. Um, I almost think they might have a patch configuration built into them, and that's what's amplifying their gain in order to help uh, get more range and power. So, um, what I'm going to do is <clears throat> go outside and fly to the, a spot where I normally get dropout and then throw these things on there and see if it helps with the penetration at all. Now, for distance, I don't really care. I'm not going to fly seven, eight miles away and go try to find my Mavic if I have a problem. Um, I'm looking more for penetration and punch, which is what some YouTubers are claiming that these will do, even though they haven't tested them. So for 10 bucks, I figured let's give it a shot. So let's go outside, put the Mavic up in the air and see if these things will help us out any all right guys we are going to test out the range deflector extenders take off so no I'm point fly has been out to please check it on the map my normal position that I've flown to in the past where I lose signal because I'm basically shooting through all the trees that you can see right here in the center now obviously I'm not looking for distance on this one I am only looking for penetration Go ahead and record some of this. We're flying out in sport mode. Cruising along at about 38, 39 miles an hour. Getting some gimbal jerks. Compass calibration, redundancies. The normal type of stuff that we always get, unfortunately. And we'll flip back in. To GPS mode. So I'm 100 feet up and I'm gonna keep on flying here and you can see that our signals are getting pretty bad. So I'm gonna spin the aircraft around here so I know in the video what I'm doing all right so we're down to about three bars on our signal on each items so we're fluctuating a little bit I'm gonna put it up over my head and that's about as good as I can get all right so let me put these uh, extenders on The 
it just slip right down. All right. Saw that it said block when I was sliding them down. Okay, now I have them on. Doesn't look like uh, any change at all. See if we can spin around. Trying to aim a little bit. And nothing. So I guess for my purpose of penetration, I'm not going to get any luck with these try to go down a little lower I'm sure the signals are just bouncing like crazy off the ground and the trees and everything's just getting worse the lower I get so let me come back up here a little bit back up to a hundred feet and that's it so maybe they might help you get more distance if distance is a problem for you but as far as actual penetration uh, this type of reflective type of booster in this test doesn't cut it so I mean, you can see I'm basically right down there at the X behind those trees so for 10 bucks like I said it was worth a try but no joy that's all right no big deal so anyway that's it guys if you tried them out let me know if you uh, have had some success, good. That's really good to know. Um, you know, like and subscribe to, to the video and the channel. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.